Hello guys, in this video I am going to show you how to use for each loop in your PHP code. Okay, so there is one more kind of a loop called for each loop which is also used uh, for iterating values uh, in your PHP code. So for example, I have shown you in the previous video how to declare an array, right? So for example, I have an array of these names and what uh, this array contains three names for example i can add one more name for example and one more name this has five names right okay so this name array has five name in it and i want to uh, print all the names one by one without using the key of these elements how can i do it i can use for each loop and how you can declare for each loop for each and then the condition and then these curly braces you can declare it like this and here you can give the name of the array or whatever value you want to iterate and then give a keyword as and then declare your own variable which will contain these name one by one so I will say this is a name instead of names this is names which last from uh, which has the ending with s and this is a name you can uh, name it anything but logically I name it as name and this variable will contain this name one by one okay so basically what we are saying here in uh, in using for each loop that give me from this array every element one by one and pass it here one by one so that we can use it so for example I want to print this I can just write echo and then then I can just uh, use my name variable here and I can concatenate this with a break so that it will be easier to see br okay I save it and when I run this I see an error let's see why okay I haven't provided this semicolon here okay just provide the semicolon here and run the program once again and it gives me all the names one by one whatever names are there in the list so this for each loop we use it to iterate the values or elements in the array one by one okay and this uh, elements will be contained in this variable which you declare after as okay so this is a single dimensional array and you can iterate it easily but what if it's a multi-dimensional array and if it's a multi-dimensional array uh, in the I think uh, in the previous video I have shown you how to use multiple dimensional arrays so for example we have this multi-dimensional array from our previous videos so I will delete all this code from here and if you remember we have declared this uh, multi-dimensional array in the video where we have seen how to use this multi-dimensional array right now if you want to uh, iterate this value how you can do it because this is in array inside an array and then the values of array in uh, associative uh, array right so you can do it something like this you can just write for each and give a loop something like this and inside this I will just first of all name my array so name my basic array is this as my variable name whatever I want to iterate the elements of the array so I can say a student this is students right and this will be 
this will contain student right and so what are there in the student we have three different values inside our student array so this is the student this is the array and we have three different value one two and three right and the key of this value is zero key of this value is one and key of this value is two so whenever we uh, whenever we echo this echo and whenever we uh, echo student dot break br and when we save it and run it it will give us the key of this once again i think i forgot this one save it and it will give the key hopefully no so it's giving us error because we need to indicate somehow that it has some array inside it you can see the error that the value you are trying to show is an array so it will not print this because you print string values using this echo right so you need to write here equal to th like this and then you can say this is my so this student contain a array which has three element and then inside this we have another array which is this student and then we want to iterate the value of this right so we can say this is a in a array or whatever you uh, want to say it and then whenever you want to, you print this then we, let's see what happens so i want to save this for example okay so for now we use this here and i save it and it gives me index 0 1 2 right so this is giving me the key of this array this has three uh, three values which has the key 0 1 and 2 now i want to iterate the value here these are all values how i can do it now i have all the values in here for array 1 array 2 and array 3 so what i can do is i can use for each loop inside for each loop second for each loop here to iterate the values of inner arrays okay so i just echo it like this but this time i want to use this inner array as my primary array as for example items or item item is a more log logical thing and i will make this bold so i will just make this bold so that we will be able to see this b and here we will end our b like this okay so let's see what happens i just save it and i run this and I need to give here a concatenation operator and now you can see our zeroth uh, key contains these values mark as a name weight of 15 and uh, age 15 and weight uh, 46 then John weigh, uh, age 13 and uh, weight 65 Tom age 14 and weight this one so in this way you can iterate the multi-dimensional array using for each loop but you need to use uh, two for each loop one to iterate this array outer array which contains three keys and other the to uh, uh, iterate the values of second array okay so in this way you can use for each loop in php i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now